It's time for another episode of Addicted to English. Follow along to learn how to speak English and subscribe to keep up your learning. Be sure to turn on closed captioning to follow along with the English conversation. Today's topic is. Let's get started. Where should we go for dinner? Little Jimmy, Sally Mae, I just love it when you two come to visit me. Where should we go for dinner tonight? Oh, Grandpa James, we love spending time with you too. What kind of food are you in the mood for? There are so many options around here. I could go for a nice juicy steak. Sally Mae, what do you think? Grandpa, are you serious? A juicy steak? Don't make me gag. Didn't Mom tell you I'm now a vegan? You're a what? A vegan, Grandpa. I don't eat any animal products. Oh well, I didn't know that. What about going for some lobster? I do love seafood. Grandpa, gross. Fish are animals too. I don't eat. Any animals? No meat, no fish, and no dairy. Nothing that has a face, that walks, swims, or flies, or that has parents. Hey, Grandpa, did Mom tell you I'm gluten free now? Oh, geez, you're gluten what? What's going on these days with you youngsters and food? Well, the doctor thinks I might be gluten sensitive, so I don't eat things like bread and pasta. So let me get this straight: we can't have meat. Fish, dairy products like cheese or milk, and no bread or anything else with gluten or anything that has a face or has parents. Exactly, Grandpa. It's not really that complicated, and it's better for the planet. So I guess we can go out back and eat some grass and weeds from the garden. <laughs> You're so funny, Grandpa. Times have changed. There are so many plant-based restaurants now. And even regular restaurants that offer plant-based and gluten-free options. And Grandpa, it's not only better for the planet; it's also better for your body and your health. You're our grandpa, and we care about your health so so much. I know a great place where we can all find something on the menu that works for our different dietary preferences. Or, if you're feeling adventurous, there's an amazing plant-based restaurant just a few blocks away. Oh, I know the one you mean, Grandpa. Let us show you how amazing you can feel when you eat healthier. What do you say? Ho 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 ho! You kids. All right, let's give it a try. I want to be around for a long time for you kiddos. So vegan and gluten free, it is. What would you like to order? Has the lovely couple looked over the menu? Yes. Yes. Let me also mention the special today. Today, our chef has prepared burger of ham, delicately dressed with slices of vinegared cucumbers, ruby red nightshade singles, and coagulated milk protein cut into thin squares. It comes on a baked wheat cake with a side of chiseled potatoes roasted over a stone hearth. Isn't that just a cheeseburger? Yes. Why didn't you just say that? I'm addicted to English. I'm a subscriber. What would you like to order? What is the soup of the day? The soup of the day is cream of mushroom. Oh, um, ew. No, thank you. I think I'll have the fish. If that is your wish, would you also like a knish with your fish? I can put one on your dish. Um, no. Just the fish is fine. And for you, sir, I think I'll have the steak. Excellent choice, sir. How would you like it cooked? Oh gosh, um, medium well. I don't like blood. I'm not a vampire. I never said you were. Anything to drink? I would like an iced tea. And for me, your best beer. She's driving us home. I am. I didn't bring my glasses. We'll figure it out. Wonderful. I have one fish and one steak cooked medium well. No appetizer. No, thank you. I'm trying to watch my weight. Yes, I'm trying to watch his weight too. Fantastic! I'll put your order in. And if you haven't checked out Addicted to English on YouTube, you really should subscribe. Okay. Thanks for that advice. Wilhelmina, you know what I'm addicted to? Food, Wilhelm. 
Yes, food. And definitely not blood. I don't need that. Mateo, sweetie, please, stop banging on the table. It's time to decide what you want to eat. Fine. I want a big piece of chocolate cake, a milkshake, and french fries. Mateo, it is 9 a.m. We're here at this lovely restaurant to have a nice breakfast before going to Grandma's. No cake or french fries. How about some scrambled eggs? Ugh, gross. I don't eat that. Since when do you not eat scrambled eggs? You had eggs last weekend. Since last weekend. Okay. How about some oatmeal and fruit? You love fruit. Yuck! I don't eat that either. You ate that for breakfast just this past Monday. Now you don't eat that? Stop playing games. Are you all ready to order? Please give us a moment. We are having a little trouble deciding today. Mateo, how about some avocado toast? No! I don't eat that. How about some French toast? I don't eat that. Pancakes. I don't eat that. Mateo, I don't know what you are talking about. These are all things you have eaten before and all things you like. I'm growing up now, Mom. I want what grown-ups have. Are you ready now? I'm ready. I'm ready. What do you have? I'll have a mimosa. May I see your ID, kid? Mateo. You don't eat that. Oh, my, he is such a jokester this morning. He will have an orange juice and I'll have the mimosa. Make it a double, please. Now, Mateo, what do you want to eat? I'll have scrambled eggs, oatmeal with fruit, and avocado toast. What the? And French toast and pancakes. Mateo! <laughs> I hope you're hungry because I ordered everything. Oh, Mateo, what am I going to do with you? I don't know, Mom. When are we going to have a daddy again? What should we tip? Darla, am I crazy, but we didn't get good service from our waitress, did we? You know, Peter, her service did kind of suck. Right. I waited 15 minutes for a refresher on my coffee. I noticed that. And when I was trying to flag her down, her back was to us and she was on her cell phone. What should we tip? Well, I'm not paying. You're paying. Standard is about 20%. How much is the bill? $55.17. 20% of that would be to take the first three digits. That's 10%. Then double them for 20%. I know, I know. 10% of $55.17 would be $5.51. Double that would be about $11. Should we tip $11? Gosh, I kind of want to send her a message that her service was subpar. I know, but they make a low hourly wage and tips are very important to them. So it's tough. You know, she seemed upset on the phone call. She seemed distracted. Maybe she's having trouble at home. Gosh, you're right. I feel bad for wanting to tip less. Maybe we should just pay the $11 tip and be done with it. What about 12? 11 is an odd number. Wait, tip her more? Yes. Maybe it's more important we come off as generous and appreciative. You know, to offset her bad day. Fair point. I'm okay with that. And actually, it wasn't that bad. I've had absolutely terrible service. The kind of service that is almost offensive. They were rude, unresponsive, and seemed to loathe your presence. I think that's the only time I ever left no tip. You didn't tip before? Shh. Yes. But it was because the service was almost non-existent. It seems to me not right to tip someone purely out of obligation, especially when the service is anything but good. I guess you're right. I just hope you don't do that except in extreme situations. This is not an extreme situation. You're right. $12 it is. That's a great tip. Maybe it'll brighten her day. Maybe. Or maybe it'll just brighten ours. Oh, Peter, I love you. Darla, stop. You never say that. And we're in public. Okay, I take that back. Let's pay this check and hit the road.
okay. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Addicted to English. There's lots to learn from this channel and little secrets buried within. If you see something, share what you see in the comments. We love likes and we love subscribers. We hope to see you on the next episode. I wonder what it'll be.